Hi guys, in the previous video we kicked off with Julia and we started printing some simple strings and we were also able to read some user input and get that print that user input out. So in this video we're going to be building a small program which decides, depending on your age, whether you're a minor or an adult. So we are now able to get the person's name and uh, I don't need type off here so let me just remove that comment and I'm getting his age and let me remove that so we saw in the previous video that if you get the age once you read something that the age is of type string so now how do I decide whether somebody is a minor or adult well uh, anybody above 18 is an adult or above equal or above 18 is an adult and everybody below 18 is obviously a minor so now how do we go about it? well we need an if condition and you say if now you can't use you cannot use user age because user age is a string and if because if you go like this this user age is a string whereas 18 is a number so you'd have to convert user age to a number and the way you do that in um, in Julia is basically use the parse function so you go like this let me just uh, remove that so you go like parse and then what's the target you wish to parse to uh, let's say int 64 and then who do you wish to you know convert to that int 64 well that's that variable uh, user age user age so now what we have we've converted um, user age the string user age to an int 64 and then I can say um, you know print uh, uh, wow uh, yeah, while wait, wait a minute, while you you're an adult with your and then add the age, which is basically user age, and then so basically what it says if you're not if you're if you're oh sorry if you're it's gonna be bigger than bigger equal if if you're uh, bigger equal uh, if you're if you're uh, if you're bigger equal to 18 then it says wow you're an adult with your whatever uh, you know 18 years and else so that's how you build conditions very similar to Python very similar else let me just copy that and have it say oh being um, means you're still a minor so now what we have is and we can take that off or just comment it out and by the way to comment things out in visual studio code you just go Control q and that would comment uh would comment your your lines out it would add the uh, one line comments to the lines you select so now what we have let's look at the program it says hi guys then it asks what's your name you input your name so it prints out your name then it asks how old are you and now depending on how old you are on, on the age you input it converts that to an in 64 and then prints either you know that text or that text now first question before we proceed how do i know what type i convert to well there's a list julia has a list of uh, types that you can glean off the website i'll show you the link i'll post the link in the description i'll just show you the website and that's here and you can see the type of integers that you have now we took int 64 which is basically an integer 64 bit you can also use floats and sort of these are the sort of numbers you can convert to and uh, I'll, I'll post the link then in the description below uh, but you can you know just google it and you get such a list 
Right. So now again we're in the terminal and now let's run our program. So I go Julia uh, C zero.jl. Uh, oh hold on, I've got to save it first. Right. And now I can run it. So now what's your name? Let's call Eddie. And now I'm gonna say I'm 12. And uh, there's an error. Uh, what's the error here? Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, when you use if, uh, you always have to use an end. So you know if. Now we use the else and end. So and that that that's the error. Okay, let's try it out again. So Julia, one thing you notice is that uh, Julia doesn't pre-compile the applications. Just like with Python, so it starts off. You can you're able to put your name. Then how old are you? I'm putting a twelve. But then after that. It 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 uh, it gets to the error, which is basically the if without without an end, and I rectified that now. Let's save it, and now let's run it out again. So I go Julia uh, c zero c zero dot jl and run it, and now edit and go twelve, and now you see oh being twelve me means you're still a minor. So it, we activated this condition. And if I run it out again, then let's try the other uh, age, Julia uh, C0 dot JL. And now it's called Mike. And how old are you? I'm 32. Uh, While well, you're an adult with your 32 years. So that's, that's, sort of, that's sort of how you put conditions in, uh, in Julia. It's basically very similar to Python, just if, and then, you know, your condition, and then you tab in, and uh, you'd have one tab here, and then you, you know, have it do whatever you want. You can obviously add multiple things, uh, which, which apply to this condition, and otherwise you'd have this else, and then your other things can also insert more statements here, which apply then to the else condition. Right, so um, that is basically um, the way we do conditions in Julia. Uh, let's do, let's have this program run so long until, uh, you know, until, until a user wants to quit. So we can put multiple names. So if I need to check, uh, you know, multiple names and whether they're minors or not, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to always, you know, go Julia C0.jl. I just like it to loop around. Now with loops, you have got for and while. Now in this video, we're going to be using while. And the way we do with while is like this. That's one way of doing it. While. True. Now remember, all that is going to be repeating so many times, so all that has to be tabbed in because that is the block belonging to while and like with if, like loops also, like conditions, also demand an end statement. So now we have while true, that means it's an endless loop, it's gonna run. So now we have to sort of put an exit. Um, let's put here type xx to quit and now we can add another condition, which is basically uh, uh, if user name is equal to capital XX, then what? Well, then you got to get out of that loop. You have to get out of that loop. And that is done with a statement break, similar to Python. And um, so that breaks the loop and then the program or the application stops. Otherwise, we're going to loop and we can put input infinite names and ages and the, and the application will tell us every time whether you, you know, you're a minor or not. Let's try it out. And uh, let's go. Julia. And then C0.jl. And you see now comes the first. Uh, have I done a mistake? Let me see. Oh, oh, again, seems to be my problem today. I forgot to give that if an end, right? Save it again. And let's go. Let's start it off. Julia C0 
Nancy underscore zero dot JL. And let's go. What's your name? So now it says here type XX to quit. So now what's my name? My name is uh, John. And my age is uh, 16. So now you're still a minor. You see, and now we start again. It starts again. Ask me, you know, what's your name? So I'm a new person. So mine is um, Jill. And how old are you? I'm uh, 36. So wow, you're an adult with 36. So next comes the next next person. So now if I wish to quit, all I have to do is XX. And that's it. We're out of the application. So now in this video, we've seen a couple of things uh, with Julia, obviously printing, which we saw in the last time. We saw how to convert string to a number, in this case, in 64. We saw how to we saw how to use conditions. And uh, one thing uh, what I missed is you can also have something like what's in Python is called elif, i.e. an else if. Here it is an else if. And with else if, you can, uh, you can set another condition. Let's say uh, 15, you can then print. Oh my God. So now I've used else if for a special situation, which is basically uh, equal to, sorry, equal to 15. And this uh, makes everybody called, uh, everybody at the age of 15 is, is a teenager. And this is, these are sort of the conditions the, 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 the way you, you apply conditions in Julia, if, else, if, else. Don't forget the ends. I often forget them. And um, here again, same thing, condition with a string. And then break. You break out of a loop. We saw one loop today in the video, which is the while loop. And you also with while loops, you have to pay attention that you exit these, especially this one. If I, didn't, if I don't have this one, that would be an infinite loop because true is always true and that while would also run. Typical while statements would also have a sort of a condition here for i.e. I don't know, like something like x is smaller than y, uh, smaller than 12 or something, that loop would run. And again, with such scenarios, be sure you have some way of, you know, changing uh, x in that loop for it to exit at some point. So these are sort of the things, uh, how you do loops, conditions, um, converting to numbers in Julia. Uh, 